Rig Expert has a new product, a Shackmaster 35 amp power supply. This is a new product in a line of products that Rig Expert is coming out for their Shackmaster series of stuff for ham radio. Let's take a look. All right, going right into it. I haven't done an unboxing in a long time. This is not gonna be really an unboxing, but I did wanna show you this, because this is packaged very well. This is the instruction manual. It comes with this little card here that has a QR code on it that you can scan that and go get, uh, go register the product for the warranty and whatnot. This is a, it's a pretty thick uh, card right there. So that's kind of neat. Looks like a credit card, but it's not. Okay, good instruction manual here. Nice color, nice glossy glossy pages here. It's very well put together, I thought. So that that was good. And this is the box. It's kind of tall here. This flap here, it magnetically attaches to the side there. So it, they put some time into the box. It's not a big deal. You're going to probably get the box, take the power supply out and throw the box away or put it on a shelf in a closet somewhere. And that's fine. But uh, I just wanted to show how they took the time out to, to actually do this. All right, that's the front of the, sh front of the Shack Master. We're going to fire it up here in a second. Obviously, two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, and two Anderson PowerPole ports right there in the front. It's got this touch screen that's in the front here. And then in the back, it's got an off-on switch. Your standard power cable, ca uh, like computer cable, monitor cable right there. Two more PowerPole ports plus a USB-C port in the back. That's kind of neat. And then your standard positive and negative terminal. So plenty of options for setting up all of the things. Underneath that, that should, it does come with its own power cable. That's fine. This is a... Oh, that's to set it on... Like, I guess if you wanted to set it on its side or something, that's fine. Okay. Comes with some feet if you want to put it face down on the on the desktop. And then it comes with a USB-C to A cable. A nice red cable right there. So let's connect all this up and see what it looks like. Here it is. Now, this little side thing here is so you could stand it on its side on a desk like that. If for some reason you were space restricted or just wanted it to stand sideways for whatever reason there's that option available for you i wish it had two of them you could put one on each side but uh just comes with the one set it up like that get a little bit better look at it so turn it on and like i said this is uh 1626 i guess that's probably the time or it thinks it is and that's about six hours ahead of where i am right now no it's about eight hours ahead of where i am right now but but it does have this touch screen supposedly Swipe to switch on. Oh, okay. I didn't wait long enough. Ha. Huh. Swipe to switch on. There we go. Shack Master Pro 500. Here we go. Okay. That's the normal screen right there. Zero watts, 0, 0.0 amps, and 84 degrees. Swipe right. It doesn't do anything. Touch screen to turn it off and on, or at least turn the screen off and on. Let's plug something up to it. This is my BT-01 remote Bluetooth control for my uh, AnyTone D578 radio, or any any AnyTone radio, really. It is USB-C chargeable. Got to remember where the port is. I haven't used this in a while. So it's probably dead. So this is probably going to be a good test right here. Okay, after plugging that in here, it changed to 2 watts and 4 amps. I've got the charging indicator light on that. So there it goes right there. See if it does anything now. Oh, yeah. Okay. 13.8 volts. Swipe to switch off. No, I don't want to do that. So swiping left and right changes things. Okay, there it is. I thought it had an up and down also, and I, I, I couldn't get it to do the up and down thing. But it started working after you plugged it, after you powered it up. So power, 13.8 volts. That's the power that is available to the power supply right now. The power is currently 13.8 volts is available to output to various places. Seems to be kind of finicky. Yeah, I did. I have this. I have the plastic on the screen. That may be one reason why. So, I didn't want to take the plastic off the screen yet because I'm not sure I'm going to keep this. This is a loaner from Gigaparts, by the way. So I want to try to take as care, careful of it as I can. So 13.8 volts. Aux is 4.9 volts at zero point. Okay, so that means this over here. So USB is typically five volts, and right now it's outputting 4.9 volts at 0 0.43 amps. So it's charging this device here that I have in my hand, this, this guy right here, okay? That's the USB. There we go. It seems to kind of go to sleep all, uh, uh, when you don't touch it for a few minutes. So there we go. Okay, yeah. And you can scroll through the whole thing both ways, back and forth. 
it does work much better without the plastic on the screen so yeah once you buy one of these you're going to want to take the plastic off the screen anyway i just was doing so sight 127 volt at 127 volt oh that's probably okay so 126 127 volt at 60 hertz that's probably my incoming power so if you're running this on like a generator in the field or something like that to power your radios it seems kind of redundant to go from generator to power supply to to 12 volts in the field just plug in a bio -ino. but you may whatever it's totally doable it's totally doable so you've got you've got four power pole ports on this thing and you've got a bunch of usb ports on it so it could power all of the things it might be easier to carry this than it is to carry a bio -ino for this that and the other or a big hunking battery box so kind of depend on what you're trying to do but that's the power coming in right now 127 volts from my ac my alternating current in my house or the shack here it's at 86 degrees 60 hertz that's normal two watts and 0 0.4 amps is what's going out of the thing right now and it's got those menus there and then if i want to switch it off i can do it like that so pretty cool the test will be and i don't know how long i'm going to get to keep this because i'm not i've obviously i'm not in the field right now so i'm not sure how long i'll get to keep this but the test will be to take it out to the field and see if any rfi emits from it when you're in a, a low noise environment now i turned the, the radio on a minute ago and i've got some rfi right now from other various places the air conditioner's running you might be able to hear that so not a good test right here for rfi i need to get to someplace quiet because in the field is where you really care about that sort of thing well you care about it in the shack too but if you have other variables in the shack then you have to account for that as well so pretty good lineup from rig expert the shack master power supply they call it the 500 watt if you do a little bit of math if you divide 500 watts into 13.8 volts it comes up with about 36 amps a little over 36 amps and they're calling it a 35 amp power supply so they're planning to over deliver to you hey that's great i love it i would rather that come up at 36 amps than like 32 amps and be advertised as a 35 amp so great great excellent from all intents and purposes everything i see about this it's going to be a great unit check the link in the description below thanks for watching today